quick maintenance day. Oh, it ain't no quick maintenance day. So I was just uh, getting the tractor moving some lumber and had the air conditioner going because it's hotter than Hades out here. And uh, all of a sudden, no, and it sort of smelled like Freon. I mean, I kind of know the smell. It wasn't oil. It wasn't antifreeze. My first reaction was I thought it was the uh, regen, regen, because that's kind of what was coming out. All, uh, all the pressure and everything was kind of coming out of here. And uh, but then the air conditioner quickly, because I quickly shut the tractor off. It stopped. Turned it back on. There was no codes or nothing. So I turned the tractor back on. And kind of realized, up, uh, probably blue air conditioner line somewhere. And of course, Yanmar and the dealerships really don't have anything to do with the air conditioning system. Uh, last time, I think I did a quick video of it. Um, the fins and everything were all plugged up. And I, we took some water, sprayed them all down. And of course, you got to keep the air uh air filters clean and the cab filter clean uh but this one was different so i had this can of freon and uh turned the air conditioner on of course the air conditioner wasn't working so i figured all right we just blew all the freon out hooked it up to the low port here turn the tractor on turn the air conditioner on put some in it and you can hear it right here little line rubbing up against something I don't know what's rubbing up against yet but it's worn down so I'm going to for now just kind of cut this it's just seven what is it seven sixteenths line three eighths line something like that black hose so I'm just going to take that all cut it reapply it see if I have enough slack here to just fix it that way and uh, hopefully get back to maintenance i'm changing oil and filters and stuff i may have an issue here with pressurizing because these are pressurized lines um and i may have a problem if i splice it it may not work and so i have no idea what to do from there um if that doesn't work I guess that's what I'm going to try first, but if I can't get a good seal, it's not going to, it might not work. Boy. Okay, you can see the same. So here's what the cause was the problem. This was rubbing right there. So rub that. Round to there. That's why those are like that. This needed to be over here maybe a little bit. I don't know. At least all away from that. Okay, jumping ahead of myself here. This is a fuel filter. This is a fuel filter. And there's fuel filter right here. This is a fuel line. So this is coming from the tank into here, I believe. Or maybe it goes over there. I'm not quite sure how the fuel system works. But... Uh, this is obviously leaking a little bit. Um, this would have been a lot bigger problem than the air conditioner is, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to go see if I can get a that fixed. And then I'm going to cut this here. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, shut the fuel line off somehow. Cut this. Hopefully got enough slack here. Put this up there. And I hope that will fix that problem too friends you don't have to see my ugly mug but i put a brass nipple with two hose clamps on there uh pressurized it back up here it was starting to pull apart so i put a bunch of black tape on it for now um it was the air was cooler in the tractor i'm just going to run with that for now I know what the problem is. Now I just got to kind of make sure this stuff doesn't rub. Um, that's kind of why I taped it as well. But it's still pretty sharp. I mean, so it's taken about five years for this to rub away. But uh, just so you know, YT347, 359, cabs, air conditioner. Check that. 
Okay, next day. Um, my splicer lasted about five minutes. You have to get, and I haven't tried this yet, but you have to get this air conditioning splicer kit compression. There's just too much hose line, inline splicer. Um, there's just too much pressure on it. So I'm going to put this on, put this in, get it working, and then I'll uh, let you know, you know, basically if it works or not. But it, uh, but you got to get this air conditioning inline splicer right here. So I've ran the tractor for a few hours after I've repaired that line and it seems like it's working good so i am just got to make sure those hoses aren't rubbing together and I'm going to check a whole lot of other hoses since it's been about five years and uh, hey hopefully this tip helps you. Thanks for watching. Expensive. <laughs>